Keep coming, you're almost past it. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My uh, cousin just called me and he ran into a little bit of a problem. He was towing a little trailer and a garbage truck. I forget the situation, but uh, where the hell is he parked? Should I park? Right here? Either one. Alright. But, uh, so he got into a nasty spot and he needs a little assistance backing the trailer up. I hope it'll get hit right here. Got rained on, makes it look clean. You're way up there, huh? Shoot. Stay, buddy. Mm -hmm. It's a trip. Like you can see it. What I try, I had to do because I, I didn't have my front drive line on, you know, because I wanted to make sure the transfer case issues. And I'm yeah. like, I haven't needed it. What the hell is that? That's a trailer. Dang. Are you recording all this? Yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> so I, I, I got my tire in there so it would stop. Yeah. So I could get out. I put my drive line on, made it up the top of the hill just fine. But that was just I had to anchor the trailer. So. so <laughs> back and out what happened down there? <laughs> Because I didn't, I didn't understand your story. So, a uh, management guy had turned on his turn signal at a couple of other trash cans. Yeah. And then just stopped at that one. And I was decent distance behind him, but in the middle of downshifting. So, yeah. like, in neutral. So, I was like, uh, do I lock him up? Yeah. Or eat the ass end, or do I pull up this driveway? So, I pulled up the driveway. I got to, like, right here. I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to turn around. So, I started oh, backing down one. <laughs> I don't have my front drive line on. <laughs> So I buried it right there to get my front drive line on. What, up and out. what brakes are on this trailer? None. Oh, just the brakes in my truck. I have low <laughs> for getting up, but down was just the brakes. So. Oh, at least it's not a big rig on there. No, it's a small trailer. I just, <laughs> I'll block traffic for you if you want to back her down. All righty. Might as well be you. Might as well be me. Yeah. Trailer's got flex. You're coming out. You good? Keep coming, you're almost past it. Keep coming. You got 
gotta put it in gear and shut it off real quick. Trust it down there by that drill. Okay. Hydraulic brakes, the yeah. surge ones. Oh, that's it's, what makes you nervous backing I, down a hill like trying that. Trying to do that by myself was impossible. Yeah, I'm like, I popped that tire. It's low anyway. Did you? Go from <laughs> I got, I gotta go get the new brake pedal. <laughs> Well, if I make any money off this video, I'll Don't I'll cut you in. Cut, cut some of the stuff out. Like, doing with it. Make me look like a total dumbass. But... I, dude, shit happens. I know. You know, well, it, in situations, it's well, nice. I'm talking, I look stupid. I mean, I don't care about the situation. Hell, I thought I'd <laughs> look. Call somebody. I'm yeah. Not, you know. About... Alrighty, so the lay of that situation, he's coming down this hill. Said he wasn't going too fast, but then the trash can guy. He didn't even give any warning that he was gonna stop for any of these cans, I guess. He had been given warning beforehand, so he didn't think nothing of it, and he's either gonna, you know, come around the corner and smack into the garbage truck. Cause those, if you guys ever ran those hydraulic brakes, they're like a universal brake for, if like you rent a trailer, your rig doesn't have a brake controller, like, you know, these a standard new truck, they all come with them. Well, that 94 Dodge, you know, might not have came with it. You might not have added one. But, lay for most people, they don't have one, so they can rent a trailer, which is kind of sketchy. But they'll have trailer brakes. It's a surge brake. So when you hit the brakes on your truck, the weight of the trailer comes forward and hydraulically applies brakes to the trailer. But when you're backing down a hill, it's very difficult. And then, especially a spot like this, where it's a blind corner and needed somebody to block him, and uh, he sacrificed me to back it down there. I'm glad he called so he could get it done because it's just a bad spot, but he just tried to run up that driveway and get out of the road because he's just in a bad spot. And We just rebuilt his transfer case the other day on his truck, and um, he had installed it, but he hadn't put that front drive line on it. So... Stuff happens if you can call a friend and help you get out of it easier than getting in trouble even worse that's always definitely the preferred method so I was happy to come help him luckily I didn't have work today and because we would have been out of town so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed that video stay safe out there um, if it's towing and or if it's raining while you're towing take it slow like when I'm towing I you know I try to keep more more distance and you would really even consider like this is a little unreasonable you're so far back but situations like that imagine if it came around the corner with the prime tech and a garbage truck did that a garbage day look at these guys they stop every hundred feet picking up a can and did his block traffic with a freaking 35 40 foot truck <laughs> and you can't see around it or nothing so you got to tiptoe especially on garbage day anyway guys Comment below if you guys have ever had a bad situation where you had to mount a ditch, mount a driveway to avoid running into somebody. Uh, knock on wood, I have not had to do that yet. But if you guys have, let me know how it worked out for you. Anybody got hurt? I hope not. But like this video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. Later.